Navy colleagues has fought with panic attacks. Chief National Correspondent Matt Gutman's new book is called No Time to Panic. It examines his lifelong struggle. Juju Chang sat down with him to talk about it. Hey, Juju. Hey, good morning, George. You know, we all know Matt to be that ultimate fearless reporter, but his secret panic attacks sent him on an epic quest that took him both to far-flung places and deep into his own psyche. They want to keep walking all the way to the United States. For the past 15 years, he's traveled to every corner of the globe, reporting for ABC News. Matt Gutman is there on the front lines in Israel. Matt. Covering war zones. That's not very much of a chaotic scene here. Natural disasters. Like you can feel the intensity of the heat. And social calamities. Are you prepared for confrontation if it has to happen? But behind Matt Gutman's seemingly fearless face, he says, was a man crippled by panic. You call yourself a courageous coward? Yeah, it's the, the paradox of the courageous coward. I lived for that kind of kinetic reporting. But when things were calm and there was the expectation of perfection, especially when presenting on air, I crumbled. Now Matt is turning the tables, investigating himself and what he describes was a lifetime of panic attacks in his new book, No Time to Panic, writing about his searing tragedy at age 12 when his father was killed in a plane crash, launching him into years of therapy and antidepressants, but panic always percolating beneath the surface. I don't know that there is a direct line between my dad's death and the panic attack. You know, conflict reporting, always being in the turmoil, the natural disasters, those things appeal to me. I was able to speak in this shared language of grief with people who'd lost loved ones or who'd lost the things that they cared about most. And it gave me my edge in journalism. Despite that edge, Matt says, ironically, one of his biggest triggers was reporting live for his job. And in 2020, his greatest fear realized. Matt says he lost control in a panic on live national television. I made a horrific mistake. I was suspended for a month. And during the suspension, I decided I have to figure this out or leave TV news. The 45-year-old father of two setting out on a mission to get to the root of his panic attacks, scouring the earth for a cure. I told my, my psychiatrist about it, and we tried to medicate it away. But nothing in this magical prescription pad of my doctors killed the panic. What I realized I could do is I could report my way out of panic. And I'm going to investigate the absolute uh, out of panic. You literally went to the ends of the earth to report it. From online support groups to exposure therapy to more extremes, experimenting with mind-altering psychedelics like mushrooms and ketamine. I was on a couch literally with psychiatrists or psychologists or clinical nurses every step of the way during the psychedelics. Altered states helped me get to a place in my own psyche, helped me reach what I call this well of grief that I couldn't access to in my right mind. Right, I couldn't access it, I needed help getting there. Matt says he didn't find the magic pill to rid the panic, but every step or misstep in the journey brought wisdom. How does it feel today in your brain? I feel a lot better than I did when I started this project almost four years ago, but it's a work in progress. The most valuable lesson that I gained is that panic is normal. It's knowing that if I have a panic attack again, it's gonna be okay and not to hate myself for it, and not to carry the shame around, and not to be the victim of the stigma that surrounds panic. It's all about acceptance. And for Matt, it's that old truism. It's not the destination. It was the journey. And it was a very personal one at that. No Time to Panic is out today, guys. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.